Hello everyone. In today's video, I will show you how to sum time in Excel, including how to handle totals that go beyond 24 hours. It's quite straightforward and can save you time and frustration. So let's get right into it. In our previous tutorials, we covered how to calculate hours worked even for shifts that span past midnight. If you haven't watched those yet, you will find the links in the description box below. Today we are taking it one step further, summing up all those hours worked. To sum time in Excel, we will use the sum function just like any other calculation. But before we begin, make sure the cells containing time data are formatted correctly. This step is crucial for Excel to handle time calculations accurately. If you need help formatting time in Excel, check out the tutorial link in the description box below. Now that we have got that sorted, let's move on to the calculation itself. To calculate the total hours worked, begin by selecting the cell where you want the result to appear. In this case, D7 under the total hours work column. Start by typing the equal sign to initiate the formula. Then type sum. When the list of options appears, double click on sum to select it. Now, highlight the range of cells containing the hours worked, D2 through D6 in this example, and press enter. It's almost like Excel's way of saying, relax, I have got this. Just sit back and take the credit. If the total hours worked are under 24 hours, the sum will display correctly. However, when the total exceeds 24 hours, as in this case, you will notice an issue. Instead of showing 42 hours and 5 minutes, Excel resets the count and displays only the remainder, like 18 hours and 5 minutes. This happens because by default, Excel doesn't account for the time sum exceeding 24 hours. But no need to worry. We can easily fix this. Here's how. Right click on the cell where the total appears. From the menu that pops up, select Format Cells. This opens the Format Cells dialog box, where we can adjust how the time is displayed. Navigate to the Number tab and select Custom from the options on the left. Scroll down and choose the format where the letter H is in the square brackets. Since we only want to display hours and minutes, delete the seconds from the format bar above. The square brackets around the H tells Excel to keep counting the past 24 hours without resetting the total. Once you are done, Click OK. And there you have it. Excel now displays the accurate total of all hours worked, even when the total exceeds 24 hours. If you found it useful, please hit that like button and subscribe for more videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for topics you want me to cover, please drop a comment below. I'll catch you in the next video. Take care.